Hello everybody, David GB here and welcome back to part two of Kicks. I off screen me getting back to this point because I figured nobody wanted to see me go through the whole like 14 minutes of me getting back to this point. So I am back. I uh, lost a life, but I'm uh, getting back at it. And now there are two of them, which really, really kind of irks me. But, you know, what can you do, right? I don't, I don't know if, if you had two of the main enemies in the uh, arcade version. But I do know this game was ported to, like, every freaking console. Uh, I remember uh, I was reading up online when, uh, when Billy, Billy MC, told me about it. And I checked it out. It was for, like, uh, pretty much, like, every arc video game console at the time. It was for, like, Nintendo, uh... I think the Master System, Atari 5600, the Commodore 64. Uh, I don't know if it's for the Intellivision or ColecoVision, but I could actually see it being for the ColecoVision. Not so much the Intellivision. The Intellivision wasn't... Uh, I wasn't a... Like, like, I have an Intellivision too, but like when it comes to like... You know, they did have, it did have some pretty good graphics. I will say that for the time. But when it came to like controller innovation, uh, yeah, to be honest with you, that little disc, that, that just irked me. I just couldn't, I, I just didn't get into that. But I will say this though, Dungeons and Dragons for the uh, Intellivision 2 was an awesome game. Well, for Intellivision, I, yeah, I was for one and two, but it was just so awesome. And I had the opportunity to buy the uh, voice modular, like module add-on so that it could talk to you and stuff like that during B-17 Bomber. And I, I passed it up. I, I was like, nah, I, I didn't have the money at the time. But I do have the uh, Intellivision uh, Lives PS2 game disc, which was good because uh, Snafu was, oh, you see that? You see that? Luckily, luckily that got me to 75. But yeah, so, yeah, I mean, it was all right. It's, it's, it's not a bad, it's not a bad game. I, I love the game. Uh, a lot of people don't like the uh, theme song, you know, uh, you know, like, uh, it starts off like, uh, you are my love and my friend. I wish the games would never end. Like everybody hates that song, and like they're like, "Oh, it's so cheesy," but uh, but I liked it. I actually really, really liked it because it's a great nostalgic song that you can listen to, right, without having to be like, "Oh, you know, pish posh," you know, and such and such. But you know, for for a song dedicated to the Intellivision Two for the Intellivision system, I shouldn't just say two. It was actually really good. See, that should have killed him, but it didn't. I know. Are there have, have, like are there anybody? Is there anybody on like this channel like who who are subscribed or watching this video who actually played in television? Because like I would like to know. I I love the Intellivision, but not as much as I love the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I've got like over eight hundred of those cartridges, and like you know, so that's just that's just me. But I will say this though: uh, when it comes to me getting a game over in this game, I will off screen my battle between me and the game up until where I died, like what you just saw in the beginning of this video. So there's not going to be like 40 videos of me dying, getting the game over and me restarting from stage one and showing you guys. Uh, I will just instead just off screen it up until the recent point. So so that's just, I just want to let you guys know that this is going to be like a 40 parter of uh this let's play. I'm I'm not like that. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Whew. Cause I if I figure you know it's kind of I cause me personally like I I just hate when people like you know do LPs and I'm not I'm not really a picky picky LP or watcher. But when it comes to people that you know, just do they they play the game, they get a game over. And it's one of those games that send you straight to the beginning and they'll play the game all the way back from stage one and they'll show you everything and they'll die like in level three or something like that and get a game over and start all over again. See, me personally, I'm not like that. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that's like, well, I'm not going to show you guys. That. I'll, I'll just off screen all that stuff for you guys because I know a lot of people nowadays are busy and, you know, a lot of LPR fans, they're like, you know, they want to be like, oh man, I don't want to rewatch all this stuff, you know, so huh, that's just me though, but I, I'm doing it for you guys. All right, picture frame of awesomeness.
So I know this question is kind of redundant at this time, but like, I hope you guys, uh, oh, not this question, but what I'm going to say, I hope you guys had a very good Christmas. I hope you guys had a great New Year. I hope you guys had fun and uh, it was a safe holiday. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know, like, you know, cause I, I know, uh, there, there are a few people who, uh, who, who might be watching this or going to school and stuff like that. So, uh, or who are back at school. So uh, I, I just work now. So, oh, come on. Oh, got a little bit distracted there. Oh, Mariachi Mario, no. Why do you haunt me? I believe after 100,000 points, he changes it up. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to off-screen some stuff and get back into it. And I'm back. I off-screened a lot. And now I'm back at that. Yeah. What can I say? Why do you haunt me, Mariachi Mario? Why do you haunt me? Twenty-two percent. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, right there. So I will say this. So I am kind of, I am kind of bad at this game. I would say. Uh, just because, uh, just, just, just because every time I get up to this point, I always seem to lose lives. But luckily for the 50,000, like, point one up thing, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about it, right? Okay. All right. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Okay. All right. I'm almost done. I'm, I'm almost, I, I swear I'm going to make it. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die in this level. I'm going to come back and I will be awesome. I am going to totally beat Kicks. I will totally beat this game. Okay. Well, let's get some easy percentages over here. Okay, 65. Okay, 10 more percent. 10 more percent, baby. 10 more percent. Okay, 9. Oh, sweet. 3 more percent. Oh, sweet. Made it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kix. Okay, stage six. All right. I know I'm only on stage six, and I'm like, you know, but like, this, this game is, this game is fun. It's addictive. And it is kind of, it is difficult. If you're not used to game, if you're not used to games like like you know, if you haven't played this game before, like I haven't, uh, for the Game Boy, anyways, it's it's it is kind of a difficult game. But you know what? It could be worse though. Billy MC could have requested me doing Tetris two, and that is just an awful, awful puzzle game. But we are we have been working on a few like game ideas actually for more of the contests. We've been actually coming up. We've uh, decided Paperboy for Friday. Uh, we've also decided Tetris uh, F1 Racing, which is really good. It's one of the first Game Boy game like racing games, I believe. Uh, and it came with uh, it was one of the first Game Boy games that had to connect four, where you connect four Game Boys uh, together to play F1 Racing. Uh, that was pretty good. I remember seeing the Mario, the Game Boy commercial for that. I thought that was a pretty innovative game. And I actually do have the cartridge lying around here somewhere in my room, but. Uh, it's just one of those games that are just really awesome to play, and uh, it's very innovative at the, for the time. And uh, we were talking about that, doing that, Tetris Dr. Mario. Uh, I think we were even talking about doing a few other, L, like a few other little contest ones. Uh, oh, sweet. Made it. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be a reoccurring uh, theme, a thing for me and Billy. Uh, we are going to be doing like stuff like this, and he he also agreed to be a guest commentator on uh, a few of my LPs, which is going to be really fun. Actually, it's going to be really nice. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, Metro Two Return to Samus, uh, Kid Icarus, and he's going to like 
guest commentary with me, which is going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be sweet, actually. It's going to be very innovative and very fun and enlightening because, you know, who wouldn't want to listen to that? Who wouldn't want to listen to that commentary? You know, that's, that's going to be a fun commentary. You know, him, like, I will say this, like, out, out of all, like, out of all, like, the LPRs uh, that I've spoken to in the past, uh, I'm going to say that uh, Billy MC is actually one of the only LPRs that I actually have so much in common with, and he's actually a really cool guy. Oh, no. Oh, I died. And I'm actually contemplating doing a Double Dragon 2 Game Boy version uh, LP. Uh, I was thinking about branching out and doing Nintendo and, like, Super Nintendo and Sega and stuff like that. But, to be honest with you, everybody does that. Like, there are rarely any LPRs out there that just do Game Boy games, from what I've seen. And it's a kind of a shame, though, because the Game Boy is such an innovative, like, video game system. I love the Game Boy. It's it's a lot of fun. Oh, okay, okay. Please, please move. Please move. Sweet. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it before the video runs out? Before the time runs out on me? Seventy six. Seventy six. Seventy. Sixty nine. Seventy two. Okay, sweet. Am I gonna make it? Oh, Seventy three. Oh, still seventy three. Yes, I made it. Sweet. Ah, uh, no bonus though, but you know what? Who cares? Oh, okay, stage eight. Whew. This is a workout on my nerves. Okay. Oh yeah, fifty percent. Oh. I hate those guys. No, anybody but the wave. Like if, it, like the wavy like lines. If it was like a, if it was like a ball, you know, or like a floating face or something like that. That, that I, I can, I can take that though. But not, not the lines though, because I swear those vector lines cheat sometimes. Oh yes, six thousand times reach hundred thousand mark. Will I do it? Will I do it, you guys? Cross your fingers for me. Oh, spider bug things. No! Damn it! Oh. Well, that's it for uh, this part of uh, Let's Play Quicks. Kicks, I mean. I'm Davey GB, signing off, but I am going to do... Oh, well. I'll see you guys in part three. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, take care, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the future. Good night.